Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another project share to share with you guys using this collection called Flower Market from Echo Park. This collection is from 2020, so it's not too old. And I used up a lot of the papers from here, but I still have some. And I'm thinking of making a folio with the rest of this. So I have, let me see, I have one, two, three, three full size sheets and then like two half sheets. I mean, I guess four full size sheets, but one of them is the cut apart, which is on the back of the um, kind of like the branding. So I guess four sheets, because I will use those cut aparts, three pattern papers though, and then two halves. So I'm definitely going to make a folio with that. Um, so stay tuned for that upcoming project, but I was glad to be able to use up some of this spring themed paper. And I think this collection is just so pretty. I love that there's so many pinks in here. I just love it. It's gorgeous. So I'm going to link it down below if I could find it and if it's available. So I'll link it. Um, I'll try to have it linked with, between a few different stores. Um, so you guys could shop wherever you guys like to shop. And yeah, so let's get started in the project share. Because as you guys already saw a sneak peek, I made some more adorable notebooks. So these adorable notebooks, you guys, oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun making these. And I got I to gotta show you guys something real quick because I know I've mentioned it before, but let me show you guys something. All right, so you guys know I use my cinch machine to make these. Now, the mini cinch, you could definitely use. You will get, you, you, you will be able to make like the three by four size ones with the six rings. When you use the mini cinch, you can't just like not use one of those things. Like when you press down, you have to use all of them. With the bigger machine, you're able to kind of like push these in, like um, push them in or out or whatever. I don't even know how I did that. How do I make those work again? Oh, you push down, push up, out and up. I don't even know. I pushed those in. But anyway, <laughs> I have these set to only do five right now. This one, you can't. You could, you could only do the six. Unless, obviously, your something is, like, super, super duper short and you're only, like, putting it a certain amount. But you can't, like, press any in. So even if your paper is that long and let's say you only want five rings, you can't do that. However, this one is so much easier with the measurements. So you have, like the four is on both sides. So if you're lining something up that's four inches, it lines up right there and you know exactly where it should line up in order for you to punch. The other one, so I like to use that one a ton, especially when I make all these three by four size notebooks. When you're using this big one, these numbers aren't like that. These go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, and then there's eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 at the top which makes absolutely no sense to me. <laughs> I wonder if it's, oh, I guess it's, if you push that thing out, then you have these other numbers. But I like it so much better when you have the four on both sides so I know exactly where I'm supposed to line it up. Maybe there's a better way to use this. I don't know, but um, yeah. So the other thing, um, this one, I think you could only use a three quarter of an inch wire. I use one inch wires and so I punch everything out for the three by four notebooks. I punch it out with the mini cinch and then I cinch bind it with the large cinch here in the back. So this, I have it set to one inch. It also does one and one eighth and one and a quarter, though finding any wire bigger than one inch is kind of hard. It goes up to one and a quarter, but like you can't find it that often. <laughs> um, so I really like that, but I also like how you can turn some of these off and you don't have to use all of the things. When you're using this one, it's a lot of um, kind of, not I don't want to say measuring, but a lot of trial and error. Like when I was cutting out this one, because this one only has five rings, 
I literally was cutting up scrap pieces of paper, one that was three and one eighth, one that was three inches for the inside pages to make sure they line up and trying to like trial and error where I want these, moving this piece out a little bit at a time, just really trying to make it line up. So it's a lot of trial and error when you're doing it that way. I really like when it's, you know, on the mini cinch where you have like exact sizes that you could do. Um, super easy, but then again, I, you have to use this for the one inch. And then I definitely recommend this larger one for any time you're using rings where you don't have like six rings that you want to use. So um, I recommend having both in your stash. I really wish they made one more kind of functional, but until then, I will be using both of mine. All right, so that's all I wanted to share about those because um, I know some of you guys had gotten the mini cinch, but... Um, yeah, like I said, you can only do the three quarter inch wire with that one, as far as I know. If you could do one inch, then great, but I, everybody has been saying you could only do the three quarters inch. Um, and notice how here I could change the size so I know where to punch. Like I just kind of push it down and it makes them closed up to that size. Here you kind of have to pay attention to how much you're, I guess, are pressing down um, to get it to close. You just have to pay attention with that. All right, so let me put these away and then we'll get started on my project share. But I will have both of these linked down below in case you guys want to get one. I highly recommend it. It's one of my most used craft tools right now at this moment. It wasn't being used for a while, but now that I bought like my cinch wire in bulk, I have a lot of cinch wire to use up and I will link those down below as well, the cinch wire that I use, but highly, highly recommend. All right, so moving on right back into my project share video, I'm gonna do one of these notebooks one at a time. I'll start with this one, um, just cause that's the different size, um, but they're all like, they all have so much in here. I added so many fun things and whatnot. So, all right, so this one says, you make me happy. I did the stitching on the front uh, cut apart, layered it onto some gold foil paper scraps that I had in my stash. And this one, normally I use a lot of scraps or try to use scraps to make these. This time I used that full collection kit like I showed you guys. Um, so I started with like a fresh new collection kit. You will see I did use some scraps in here and I'll tell you guys what because I have a bunch of like random single kind of sheet scraps that I got in a D stash a while ago. And this year I really just want to kind of try and use them all up. So um, I have been pulling from that as well, but I will show you guys or let you guys know when I used that and then here's the back um, just plain cover here and again one inch cinch wire now you guys could see I filled mine up um, the tags add a lot of bulk that I have peeking out from each divider as you guys could see they add a lot of bulk they also have eyelets so that adds in some additional bulk and the ribbon um, but I just I love them they're so cute I mean you could take out all the tags and it would be a lot flatter um, so here, when you open this up, it looks like this. I had this random piece in my stash and it just says opportunities to shine surround us each day. And I love that it was, um, like, uh, horizontal because I was able to fit it in here without cropping down. Um, so definitely, I will be definitely looking for more like horizontal cut aparts for these kinds of notebooks. I also had this vellum in my stash I decided to use. I'm running low on my polka dot vellum like I've been using. So I had this one. And then these are three by five size index cards. Now these, I end up using the whole entire index card and all 40 sheets. Whereas these, I only need 20 sheets of four by six because I cut them in half and they fit perfectly in here. So this one I use 40, this one I only use 20. Um, but I still like this size. So I have, um, you know, just some index cards here. And there's 10 uh, index cards between each divider. Plus all these other kind of pieces I included. So this is a scrap from my stash. Notice how it's not even double-sided. Just a random scrap. Um, I mean, this was actually a full-size sheet. I just cut it down to be here. I'm just trying to use up those papers. Here was some pink dyed paper. I cut them down for these four notebooks. I cut down a few sheets. So that's just some pink dyed paper I made. Um, then I have some more index cards. 
and then I had this. So the collection actually had two horizontal cut aparts itself, which worked out really well for this. So this one just says welcome, and that's the back. Um, I wanted to use that piece that had, you know, the front cover on the back, but it was gonna look weird. So I'm just gonna use that where I stick it down into a folio. And these ones I used the double-sided one because I didn't want a bunch of random stuff on the back. Um, here I made a little pocket. So this was a scrap from my stash. Um, this tag I die cut from a scrap from my stash and it has a white back. And then this I just die cut out of a 110 pound cardstock. Um, so these are nice and sturdy, these white ones. This one, I mean, it's just like uh, patterned paper sturdy. It's not like too flimsy, but it's not as sturdy as this. Um, so I have two tags in here. So that is nice right there. Then this is also a pocket page. I like to make my dividers pocket pages. And there's this cute little tag. This was also a scrap from my stash or from, I keep calling it scraps, but a lot of the time they're full size sheets that I'm just trying to use up from that D stash pile that I have that I got from somebody and it's just a bunch of single sheets. Um, so I'm trying to use up some of those. And here I have some seam binding. I get all of my seam binding from my scrap cabin shop. So I will have her linked down below her Etsy shop. She has a ton of different colors and I that's like the only place I get my seam binding from. So I have that here and I have eyelets here on all of the tags. And I recently got some new gold ones, which I mentioned in my video for like the past few videos, <laughs> every time I use the gold eyelets, but they work so much better than the first batch that I had and they're so much easier to kind of press down. Um, so I really have been enjoying those. I used to like hate using eyelets because it was so hard, but these actually work really well. Um, I have my tags here and you guys know, I also recently got a new tag punch, which I'm going to link down below. However, the last couple of times I checked, it was sold out. So I don't know if they're going to be restocking or not on Amazon, but it's something to keep an eye out on, but it's just this tag punch. It says two inch but I like it because I just punch out the paper and then I fold it. So instead of me having to glue two pieces together, I just punch out kind of my scrap or whatever. And so that has been working out really well for me. I'll have a link down below if I could find it. Um, so you guys can get it too, but that is the smaller size that I have, which is, which works great for these though. I do want to find a whale tail tab punch, um, a punch, not a die. I would like to find a punch and something semi small, but I cannot seem to find anything. So if you guys have or know of a place that has like a whale tail tab punch, I definitely want to get one of those. Um, so then you flip this. I just have it blank on the back. So you could add a photo here, here. Um, this was a scrap from my stash. It was a four by six cut apart. I just had to cut down a little bit. Um, and this is the back of that. I think this is from the Bloom Collection by Crate Paper. And it says, always remember. We've got some um, index cards here. Here I have a scrap from my stash again. And I just made these cute little paper clips, all inspired by, um, covered by Grace Creations. She actually has a tutorial on how to make these notebooks. Like just the basic with the, um, um, with the index cards. And she shows you how to make a divider. However, I make mine into pockets. So that's a change that I made. I don't know. Do you guys need to see a tutorial on how I like put one of these together? If you do, let me know. I would be more than happy to make one for you guys because I add in so much to mine. Like, just look how chunky. <laughs> but they're so fun. I love it. Um, so I do definitely add in a lot to mine. So, but she, she makes these cute little paper clips with tool. And I haven't used my tool in who knows how long. So this has been great for me to actually finally start using it. And I love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, so that's the back of that, some little like tag things. Um, here I have some more index cards and then I reached the next divider, which has another tag. And I'm gonna try to link this tag die set down below um, because I use it often. And I also cut out this little tag from some scraps I had teeny little tag um so yeah that goes there 
Then this is also another um, pocket page and I put all my patterned paper onto white cardstock so that they have a white back and just so they're a little bit sturdier. And then you guys could see the yellow seam binding here. Actually, this, this divider and this pocket were all like scraps. The main papers were from the collection though. Um, here's a scrap paper here for this pocket. And this is also a scrap piece. And then cardstock that I die cut out specifically to make some tags. I have another vellum piece here, which I'm starting to run low on vellum. I love adding them into here, but I'm starting to run low and I'm trying to find some cost effective vellum like my polka dot vellum sheets that I was using a lot, which you guys will see in one of these other albums. Um, that vellum, I got like a 24 pack for $9 and I cannot seem to find that price. Everything I'm looking at now is like $2 for one sheet. And that is just like absolutely ridiculous. So I'm not going to be buying it at that price for sure. <laughs> um, here we had another uh, horizontal cut apart that just says nature. Um, I've got some more index cards here and another scrap here from my stash, more index cards. And then this is the third divider. Here I made a cute little belly band with a scrap piece I had. I added a smaller tag in here, super duper fun. And then this is again, another little pocket page. I wish I could make these like longer, but I think they would look so weird as a long tag because obviously I need the tag part at the top. So I've just kind of been making them that size, but you could tuck in some photos in those divider pages as well if you want to. And then the back side, here's another piece of my pink dyed paper. Um, here's another scrappy, it says East Terminal 6. So if you're traveling, you could use that or whatnot. And you can like rip out any of these pages if you don't want to use them. Um, I would also rip out some as you're adding photos just to get rid of some of the bulk if you choose to add photos. Otherwise, if you don't want to add photos and you're just going to journal, then this is perfect. Um, here's some more pages. Another uh, piece that I cut up from my stash. And then this flips open and it has another little paper clip with the tool and then some more pages and that's the whole entire um album right there or little notebook and I love I love it I like this size a lot um so now let me show you guys some of the three by four notebooks and I forgot to mention that these are all already sold I had intended to sell one but then the person that wanted a spring themed one then she wanted to buy them all so they're all gone you guys um but I will be making more. I've been making a lot of these notebooks and I'm just having so much fun in making them. So I will definitely keep on going and I'm, I'm glad I get to use up some of my scraps and things like that. Even though I used a full collection kit, I did use some scraps and I've been enjoying that even if it's a little bit at a time. Um, so here the cut apart says truth, freedom, beauty, love. It says bloom, grow, stickers that I added onto here. Here's the back of that one. And you open this up, have a little piece of vellum here. And then this cut up part that just says, enjoy your life. Here, this is from my stash. So I added that in here, this little like journal card. And again, the little paper clip with the tool. Um, some index cards and another scrap piece. Um, and then, okay, that's it for that. And then I have another piece that I die cut from a scrap, some patterned paper, and then some solid white 110 pound cardstock. And then these tags are in these pocket pages. So that was your first divider. Pink dyed paper. Um, here we have another piece that kind of flips open. And I hope this inspires you guys, whether it's to buy a cinch and make some of your own or use your cinch that maybe has been collecting dust in your closet, um, or um, just to use up your scraps. Uh, here I had another cut apart that says the details. And then here I have this pocket, just like that. And you guys, when you're using scraps, it often takes a lot more time 
than using a brand new collection kit and just like even just figuring out these other scrap pieces like they take so long because you have to figure out what matches how you want to do it oftentimes you have small pieces and it takes a lot of time to figure um kind of it all out whereas if you're using a collection kit everything already matches so it doesn't matter what you use it kind of just matches um i have another tag here just like that but i had so much fun making these um here i made another belly band actually i don't know if i had a belly band in that last one i don't think i did actually i did i had a sideways one in the three by five i have um 110 pound cardstock and a scrap that i die cut out into a tag i found this other journal card in my stash um we have some more uh pink dyed paper here and i think that's it there third divider you've got this tag and then the back page has this pocket with a tag, another vellum piece, another cut apart, that's from the collection, some more pink dyed paper, and then I had this. This is also from the collection, some two by twos, and this was the back paper, um, but I thought I would use up some of the two by twos here, even though this is like sideways, I think it's still fine. I think it looks cute so you could add little mini photos to these if you want or you could attach like a bigger photo here and have it like stick out like I think that would be so cute so I like to have like some of these smaller scraps as well and then that's that notebook um here's the next one this one says bloom and grow where flowers bloom so does hope the back and they all look a little bit different because also different cut aparts and laid out a little differently but here is the cut apart that just says there's beauty all around. You've got this um, butterfly paper and it's like a journal card. So it says this wonderful life. And again, with the tool paper clip, um, pink dyed paper here. And then your first divider, a couple of tags. And my tags were pretty much made using scraps or from, I keep calling it scraps. It's literally from that D stash thing that I got. Some vellum here. I love the vellum. Here's another scrap piece and a cut apart. Then another tag in here and up here as well. And then your belly band with the two tags. Some scraps of paper here. And then here, the two by twos. And then another flip out here with a cute little um, paper clip. Um, this scrap here, or journal card rather, this side pocket with two tags and top loading tag as well. Another tag here, this vellum piece, um, pink dyed paper, this cut apart, and that is it for that three by four size notebook. And then here is the very last one. So this one says, every flower is a soul blossoming in nature. Added the sticker that says truly wondrous. And they're so cute, you guys, I love these. So here we have um, the vellum piece, a cut apart, magical, wonderful, heavenly. Um, here I have this tag in my stash, so I just put that here, this scrap piece, and then we have a little side lo loading pocket with this tag here, um, a cut apart from my stash, or journal card rather, um, these two by twos, some pink dyed paper, um, this one says cute little you, and this was from my stash and it opens up to be like a journal card and it says moments. So you could do some stuff on there. And that's a really thick <laughs> piece of paper also. Here there's a cut apart, it says hello there. A couple of tags, that one's another one cut out from my stash. And so is this one, random scrappies. Here's that pink polka dot vellum piece that I wanna get more of. But again, I'm trying to find it at the price that I got it before, which is like 24 of them for like $9 and not $2 a sheet. 
So if you guys see anything like that, please let me know. Um, here I have this little flip out. So just a scrap again from my stash with a tool paper clip. Um, and then we got the last divider, this tag there, pocket here with a cute little mini tag, pink dyed paper, this scrap piece of paper, this scrap piece as well, this one, and that is all the notebooks. So I hope, again, it inspires you. Definitely check out the different um, cinch machines. I highly recommend getting both if you can, like I said, but if you're only going to be doing the three by four notebook, you can do the smaller one, but again, you could only do three quarters of an inch wire then. Um, so you won't be able to fill it up as much as mine. Like mine is already one inch and they're kind of chunky, <laughs> but I love them. I love them so much. So that is everything for my project share. All the links and everything are going to be linked in the description box down below. So check that out and keep an eye on my shop. By the time this video goes up, I probably have some more available because I film videos in advance. So always check my shop to see what's available because it's not necessarily, um, it's not like I post it and then I post the video. Like sometimes the video goes up weeks later after I post it and by that time sometimes it's already gone so kind of just like keep an eye on my shop you could follow me in the shop and then you could also be I think notified when I post new things um, but I also always post on Instagram when I update my shop and when I put new things in my shop so Instagram is probably your best bet um, I think if you follow me on Etsy you still have to kind of like sign in and go onto the website and then see if I have anything new. Um, and there's like a little icon that you could click to see if there's anything new, but like from the shops that you follow, but I think Instagram might be your best bet because I always notify everybody in stories when I post things in my shop. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to create something with your cinch machine and finally dust it off. And that is everything you guys. So Stay tuned for my next video and I hope you guys have a wonderful crafty day. Bye.